You know, I know I'll probably make some people mad when I make this video, but... You know, when the 4th of July was here, I really wasn't having a good day myself and out here driving truck. Uh, you know, wasn't going to make it any better, but, you know, I, I just have to sit here and just cannot, cannot believe it. Cannot believe where we got ourselves into because, you know, I know God created everything and I know he knew that we were going to fall in the garden and I knew I mean I'm, I know that uh, we were slowly but surely just going to fall away get to where there's a very I, I'm not going to use I, I'll use the word remnant just uh, as not like the Bible uses it but there was always going to be a remnant of God out here and the, the further and further that there was not going to be God in people's lives, here we are. Here we are. You know, I, I, I've gone out on the 4th of July and done things on the 4th of July. Got drunk, got high. Uh, and this is where we're at. This is where we're at. I know there's been times in the past that people have done things and God has placed judgment and things have happened to society and God allowed it to. And I wouldn't even be surprised if he even put the pieces in place for these things to happen. You know, because even in America over the last hundred plus years, I'm not talking since America, I'm talking about just in the last hundred plus years, things have happened in America and people have had to struggle. And as far as a society, we deserved to struggle because this is no different than the bubonic plague days. Society was falling away from God even back in the in those days that they deserved exactly what they got. You know, I remember hearing of a, uh, there was a pastor during the days of the bubonic plague that prayed to God and God gave him an answer. And these people, this guy was actually able to heal people once people started observing God again. But I know America was... I founded on God and I know that God blessed America and there have been times over the last so many hundreds of years that America has done things that God's been disgusted about and then we picked ourselves up and then we've fallen again picked ourselves up fallen again and here we are I mean, a few hundred years ago, we would have never allowed the things that are happening happening in society. I mean, I know there were homosexual acts happening all these years, but America would have never allowed that to be legal. Maybe even abortion. I don't know. But I know that we were against stuff like witchcraft. Look at where society is in the darkness in that. That all the children out here, if you just get on YouTube and look at all the young people out here that want to be witches or participate in things that allow darkness into their life. There was a time when people here in America did not want Christmas. And to be honest with you, if a person went and celebrated Christmas as far as a gathering of people, gifts, that would be one thing. Just like maybe even Easter. But for it to be a pagan holiday and even Christians are indulging in it. Here the 4th of July just happens. I can just imagine all the Christians out here in the world because, I mean, I, I understand it's an American thing, but I'm sure there are going to be, be people all over the world. 
I mean, don't we celebrate in America other holidays from other countries? What do we do on those days? Get drunk, get high, sex, cheat. All these things that God's completely against happens on all these holidays. And here's all these Christians that are not even going to adhere to God. The Bible says not to hang around with sinners. I almost want to throw myself in this video and, and say, have I been any good? No, I have not been any good. I thought I was going to be able. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Well, either way, America is garbage, absolute garbage, because all it's just doing is dwindling away, dwindling away. Well, I'll tell you this right now. There's something wrong with people up here. There's something wrong with people up here. I really wouldn't. There's more than meets the eye about chemtrails. There's more than meets the eye about chemtrails. Uh, but, hey, you know, I mean, if people were going to sway away from God and weren't going to be ready for coronavirus, that if, uh, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. I mean, if people weren't going to be ready to meet their, their maker, then, you know, bring it on, God. What else do you got? People do des deserve to be in hell. Christians still do deserve to be in hell because they're still living for Satan and still got darkness in their life and they're not of the light. But there's no way at a time, I mean, you know, people want to sit here and say, why did God allow things to happen to black, well, to black people? Oh, well, it's no different than when Vikings went around and killing people. Or when, or when Muslims or, or whatever you want to call them go around and doing things, no different than if any Jewish person ever did it, no different than anyone else. Eventually we were going to get to a point in this life where God was done with it and it's getting real close. Every day it's getting closer. And since in the garden, we chose evil and darkness over light and rebellion over obedience. People are going to get what they deserve. Right now, I know what I would deserve. But, yep. Yeah. This is where we're at. So as far as the 4th of July, I mean, I wouldn't have celebrated it if, even if I wasn't driving truck. Just like I didn't celebrate Christmas because I've made videos over the last six years where I've sit here and said, I know what people do on their birthday. Well, my birthday's coming up next week. What, what, what are we going to go do on my birthday? Oh, whoa. You know, and, and yeah. Did I celebrate my birthday last? No. I'm not saying I'm any better because it wouldn't make no difference if I wasn't right with God because I was out here not doing things during holidays versus getting mad driving down the road. It doesn't make no difference. It's the same thing. I'm part of the problem just like y'all are pro a part of the problem. I know right now when people came to America, they did not have no intentions of coming here and conquering and taking and be and making people slaves. That stuff happened when Satan followed along. But the people, the intention at one time coming to America was to observe God and to be a good people. It ain't here no more. I mean, check yourself. Believe me, most of y'all are not a good person at all. And not because I deserve hell, because every Christian, I deserve hell. I deserve hell. I deserve hell. I always thought it was kind of crazy when I found people out here. I deserve, I'm a Christian. I deserve hell. I deserve hell. Yeah, because most of y'all are, are still falling short of the glory of God. 
Because most of y'all are still in darkness. Yes. Go ahead and say, I deserve hell because you're, you are under condemnation because you don't have Christ and you don't have a, yes, you still deserve hell. Yes, you do. Going to have to turn from your ways. Repentance. But hey, you know, like I said, America is garbage. It is garbage, like every other nation, though. Every other nation is in the same position that, and, 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 and I'm telling you, I'll point it right back to the truth. It's right back at home in the church. I mean, just look in the last hundred plus years uh, that there was a time where, I, I mean, people come to America. I've noticed this in the past. I remember a Hispanic guy that I was working with where he told me that if his if his children ever spoke up, that he'd practically beat them to death. People that have come to America over time, their first generation was pretty good. Slowly but surely, they broke away from like today, how... No dis, no regard for parents. Parents had their kids under control. And it's every nationality. There was a time when black people, the, the dad was in the family. Show me where the white man is in the family. So what once in a blue moon? That's exactly where it's at. Same in the Hispanic family. All across the board. Should have never got this way. We should have never got this way. Nope. Never should have broke away from God. That's right. This would never be coming to an end. America will self-destruct, and then it will fall in one hour. And uh, it's kind of like yesterday. I, I was in Chicago, started out my morning in Chicago, got on an airplane, flew to B Binghamton, New York, got in a car with someone. I mean, I'm not, I wasn't, I'm not against the guy at all talking about COVID-19. He's had family members that have had to deal with it, maybe a few that have died. Just about everybody out here has. But, again, people were supposed to be right with God. If you lost your life and you're right with God, match made perfect. Then the guy goes and brings up COVID vaccines, praising the vaccine, and then told me, God bless me when I'm leaving the vehicle. Praise the vaccine. What are you talking about? And then bring up God on top of that. No regard if that it may not be the mark of the beast. No regard. This is the generation we're in. No regard to God's word. But to profess God. That's exactly where Christians are at. No regard into God's word at all. And I know that this is all stemming away from people falling away from God. I mean, again, the last hundred and plus years, the parents had their children in the house. It got to where the children were doing things they shouldn't have done. Parents were doing things they shouldn't have done. Got worse and worse. 
I know why these judgments have happened over time. Even here in America. People doing things they weren't supposed to be doing. And the church, that's where the church is today. People doing things that they were never supposed to be doing. I mean, instead of professing God, you might as well be professing Satan because in your work you are. Only with your lips are you professing God. And America will be no more soon. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. But maybe you won't be no more either. Oh, I'm sure to the atheists. Oh, that'll be fine. I can handle hell. I can handle it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can handle it. All right, that day you get denied. <laughs> Everlasting damnation. And to the Christians out there, there you go. Everlasting torment. I can handle it, I guess. So, yeah, America, 4th of July, garbage. It doesn't mean anything. Absolutely anything. It never meant anything. When you're out. Yeah. 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 That's all I, I mean, so what? You know, it'd be, it'd be one thing if people could actually get around, cook a barbecue, and have a good time. But no. This is what people's good time. Hey, let's legalize a mar marijuana everywhere in America. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Yeah, let's legalize a, m a marijuana all over America. That was a brilliant one. Bring Satan into your lap a little bit more. There you go. Oh, God bless America. And the manipulation. This is the this is the craziest thing. The dumbasses out here. I'm a Republican. I'm a Democrat. I mean, total 100% manipulation. Oh, and by the way, I want to talk about that LED light thing that I brought up the other day in a video. I'm sitting here driving down I-55. Headed to Chicago. I see an airplane, you know, not a biplane. It's, you know, how those, the, you have biplanes that spray crops and then you got the one single wing, well, two, but drive, flying right down the interstate. Yeah. Flying right down the interstate with an LED light strobing on, off, on off on off it wasn't like a small light like every airplane has this thing was like one that's mounted on oh, man i'm telling you i don't even know what to say what was he trying to do what was he trying to do with that led light oh i already know but hey you know i ain't got my head stuck in a hole in the ground like an ostrich like the people out here do. Hey, well, yeah, strobing on, off, on, off, on, off, on. And you know what? I have seen them along the side of the highway during the daytime, strobing on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. But hey, I'm not here to, I'm not here to expose. I'm just sitting here saying that if people don't pull their head out of their asses real soon, and don't find God before the time comes and don't turn from their ways. They're in a world of hurt, including these people out here. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Hey, 
Like I said, America's garbage. Every other nation out here is too. They're doing the same shit they're doing in America everywhere around the world. Everywhere around the world, they're doing the same thing as they're doing in America. So what? You may get your hand cut off if you get caught with a joint in some country. They're still out doing something else. Oh, that meant that meant stealing. I mean, hey, you know what? Hey, you may get your hand cut off if you're smoking a joint somewhere. Make sure and puff, puff, pass, though, out there, people. Quit bogarting. That's right, man. I'm telling you. America's garbage because I know exactly what everybody out there was doing on the 4th of July. That's right. You know, I sit here and watch uh, a video on Fox where they were talking about those Democrats in Texas. And then I witnessed where a Republican was sitting here talking about how he would have been happy if that airplane would have went down. Yeah, show some wickedness out there, Republicans. You're so much better than the left. I mean, it, it did come from the right the last time I think I heard uh, the New World Order, but <laughs> we ain't being played. We ain't being played. We ain't being played. Okay, go ahead and believe your garbage. I already know this has all been set up, people. Yes, I do. I don't care. Fall America, baby, when the time comes. Salvation isn't granted to the wicked. But yeah, I think it's the chemtrails getting to people. I really do. I sure do. You don't see them flying no more airplanes over, do you? I saw two the other day, and somebody told me they saw one back about two or three weeks back. First time I've seen chemtrails in a while. Matter of fact, I'm looking out my mirror right here. I don't I, I, Anywhere I'm looking, I don't see one. One. But they, they, they already got people. Hook, line, and sinker. Just like Satan's got the church. But I know that's the reason why. Because there's always been a remnant of God in people out here. And there's very little now. There are some people, to, to y'all out there, praise y'all to the ones that are actually being obedient to God and observing him. To all you other ones, shame on you. Shame on y'all out there that are trying to keep the law, thinking yet that you have to keep the law. You've already fallen from grace. So if you are ever saved, that's where we're at in Christianity. Could you imagine somebody sitting here? Could you imagine somebody going, yeah, you have to keep the law of Moses to be saved. Oh, you mean that's what I got to do to get... To to give my life to Christ, to be saved? Could you imagine right off the get-go being manipulated and never having Christ the whole time? Yeah. You have to keep the law of Moses. You got to keep the dietary. You got to keep the... You may, make sure you have that bowl haircut or whatever you got to have. And this and that and this and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's how you got to do it. It's got to have to do... I mean, there are a lot of people out there in the church that think they're saved and have the Holy Spirit and they're of Christ and of God. Hell yeah, you got to keep the law. You got to keep the law, man. Yeah. You know, I see here and saw where this one guy, well, I don't want to tell you the reason why, but I know the reason why. Because there's just some people, you know, a lot of people, you know, uh, polygamy. Yeah, God wants polygamy. Yeah, God wants you to have multiple girlfriends. Yeah, have one wife and have many girls. Many girls, yeah. This is how God wants. Yes. Frauds. Frauds everywhere. Absolute frauds everywhere. Because it's about the law of the land. And, and I mean, I understand it. Yes, you could be married and if it doesn't bother your spouse. Yeah, you can have a lot of girlfriends, but it doesn't bother your spouse. But that's lust of the flesh. Yeah. Yeah, that's lust of the flesh. 
Oh, but Christians forgot about that. Oh, my goodness. We forgot about the lust of the flesh. Went right over their head. But hey, I'm back to talking about people out here that ain't even praising God, ain't even bringing up God except God bless America. God bless. God bless. I'll pray for that person. That person died. I'll pray for him. Oh, yeah. Are you only saying that? that yeah, these people aren't Christians. Majority of them are not Christians at all. This world is a joke, man. It will fall near you soon. I mean, I always enjoyed going out to parties and stuff like that. I didn't really think I was doing anything wrong. I really didn't think I was doing... I mean, I know that I was doing things wrong when I was getting convicted by the Holy Spirit. I just, Like I said, I've said it before, I never wanted to be a hypocrite. That's where Christians are at. Honoring God with their lips, not their heart. That's right. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say that if somebody out here wanted to practice witchcraft, that you had a right to do anything to anybody out here that did. Just like if somebody wanted to be a homosexual or somebody wanted to have an abortion. Did get did I mean it, were the Catholics right when they were doing what they were doing with their persecution and stuff? No, they were working for Satan. They just didn't know it themselves. Just just like people that were in the South, I'll bring it up again. Just like white people going to church, Hallelujah, throughout the week and throughout the weekend. Where's a black person so I can murder a black person? They ain't deserving. They ain't deserving, man. Sound like a Christian, doesn't it? Huh? Does that, yeah. <laughs> Did that sound like a Christian? A true follower of Christ? Somebody indwelled with the Holy Spirit? Yeah, fraud. Frauds everywhere. But keep up with the left and right. Man, there's three beautiful cardinals out here. Keep up with your left and right garbage out here, man. Because we're being played from both sides. I'll tell you that right now. That's okay. Maybe MAGA, MAGA will make it back in there. Well, yeah, you got everything solved, man. Make America great. That ain't that wasn't ever going to happen without God being back by. <laughs> Good luck there. So it never made a difference anyway. Why is everybody being a fool out here? Oh, oh, excuse me, God. That that did slip out. Why are people being foolish? Like I said, I gotta blame the chemtrails. I gotta blame it on something, man. I gotta blame it on some. Literally, I'd blame it on the chemtrails. But hey, I mean, I think, how can y'all prove me I'm wrong? I ain't stupid. I know what's happening in this world. Only place I'm stupid at is not being right with God myself, no different. Only thing is, is at least I'm not out here going, yeah, I'm right with God. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> and being a fraud. Did I say salvation isn't granted to the wicked, those in sin out there? Did you get that, atheist? There's an atheist that watches. Did you get that? 
You and your rebellion also. I know people don't be like told what to do. I mean, how much in the how much of the Bible do you really have to incorporate? That's what I'd like to ask. Tells you in the Bible how you live your life. I knew it did. I already knew it did. I sit there and looked in the book of Proverbs or Psalms the other day. You think it doesn't give you things in your life? I know at the end of the day it does matter. Uh, it does matter on the heart. That's solely what it's going to matter on. <coughs> When most Christians have a heart of, of, of shit, there you go. Could have used a different word. So where's everybody else out here? I know one thing. I ain't deleting this video. So what what's what's the answer? Drop the pride act. You know it's an act. Do you know what an act is? Drop the pride act. Uh, uh. Drop the pride act. It's pretty hard. It is pretty hard to humble yourself. It's pretty hard to be Christ-like. It is hard to submit and su surrender. Yes, it is. But how much of a different of a person will be when they do? That's right. How much of a different and better person a person will be after they do? Even though they're still going to struggle out here. I didn't say go around sinning. I'm talking about they're still going to have to struggle out here. And crucify the flesh. Deny self. Fight the temptation. And die to self daily. It's commanded. Abstain from your life of how you are now. That's right. That's just part of the walk. Well, either way. Repent. Regeneration. Renewal of the mind. New creation in Christ. Come out of the darkness into the light. This world is gone. Because even if I could sit here and say this, Christians will still never be able to understand that. Most Christians would not be able to understand what I just got done saying. And they've read it in the Bible. Because they're not willing to submit and surrender. That's right. When you don't like the truth, you just don't like the truth. There you go, atheist. Well, I need to go get an airline uh, spring put on my truck. Enjoy the last days, people. Enjoy the last days. Um, I don't think, and I'll bet everything on it, if you do see another 4th of July, you're not going to be out there unless you want to buy up and save up. And you ain't going to be, and you ain't going to be out here doing everything because it ain't ever going to be like it's ever been before. Coming up at a place near you, tick tock, tick tock. Everybody's running out of time. And if you do want to ever come to the truth, don't listen to all these overnight Cracker Jack box theologians. out here on YouTube, or if you listen to one pastor and he says one thing wrong, they do all the time. 
They do all the time. There are pastors out here that say one thing bad they should have never said because it is a salvation issue. There are things that you and I could disagree about and it would not be a salvation issue. And there are pastors out here that do say things that can be a salvation issue. So hopefully you can find, if you do, find someone out here that speaks the truth. And they're few and far between. What what was this video, the name of the... Oh, yeah, America is garbage. I could just imagine. America is garbage and then I'm going to get... Man, well then leave. Well then leave. Well then leave, man. If you don't like it, leave. Go somewhere else if you don't like it. No idiots, I'm not playing the left side or the right side garbage in this message because I know it's all shit. It is. It is. It's literally shit. Everybody's got their head up their ass. That's exactly what it is. I mean, I'd like to sit here and think the people out here were smart. I think we're dumber than a box of rocks. I saw where somebody said something about people and I know we're mongrels. I meant it. I've said it before. We're literally mongrels. That's right. Now, can you see how Vikings would go around doing things? And throughout time that people have done it, black people have murdered black people, black people have murdered white, Hispanic, you can, you can take every angle out here and everybody's done something to somebody else out here. It just so happens, gold, we found gold in America, we found gold. So we had to have all kinds of slaves. <laughs> Okay, there's other reasons, but. Yeah, this world is over. Like I said, God will pull that life support plug, people. And I don't think that when the calamity starts that he will listen just like the Bible says. When the time comes... All Satan's been doing through these minions and these people out here in this life right now is building people up that when the time comes, if I'm around, you'll kill me. I hope to not be around to witness none of y'all. I wanted to be gone because I may not be no different than anyone else out here if I'm not gone. That's part of the reason why I wanted to be gone away from society. That, and I wouldn't be around sitting here being the way I am the last few years. I wouldn't have been. I know I wouldn't have been. What am I going to do if I'm in the mountains? I got food. If I, need, if I did need to go to town, if I quit smoking cigarettes, if I had done this, what, 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 what? So what? I'd have tripped once in a while, maybe cracked a nose, maybe broke a rib. Stubbed a toe. May have said a cuss word. Whoopie dee doo da. It's not like I would have been looking for anything because I'd have been gone. But.
quit hanging around people you're not supposed to be hanging around. You, you have always known that that's probably the reason why a lot of people are doing the things that they're doing is because they hung around with somebody. You get yourself in trouble. Why does the Bible sit here and say that? Oh, I forgot. To all the Christians. Jesus, look at Jesus hung around sinners. Jesus hung around sinners. It's like a broken record. Jesus hung around sinners. Look at the guy on the cross next to Christ. Look at the guy next to Christ on the cross next to Christ. Look at the guy on the cross next to Oh uh, yeah, and, he, and Christ was looking at his heart versus our heart. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good, good way to bring up an excuse. Hey, heck of an heck, heck of an example, everyone out there. There you go. Heck of an example. Where'd my cardinals go? Cardinals, where did y'all go? They flew away. It would be nice if people did wake up out there. I'm being serious. Hey, I'm... <laughs> Keep on witnessing these 144s, but they don't mean anything when the time comes. That witness yesterday, no, but every other, every day, the last two weeks, I probably have every day, multiple times, two and three times a day, depending on what days they were. Ain't going to make a difference in the world when the time comes. Nope. So yes, like I said, America's garbage. The world is garbage. God will come and take care of business real soon. He'll put all the pieces in place. Yes, he will. And people will regret. Yes, they will.